Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. How do you set up connection pooling trace in WebSphere application server? This video will walk you through enabling the J2C trace. Depending on what backend you're trying to connect to, there are different trace strings that are available. If you are connecting to a database, use the first trace string. If you are connecting to a messaging system, use the second trace string. If you are connecting to an enterprise information system, use the third trace string. Log in to the admin console by entering your user ID and password. Click Troubleshooting. Click Logs and Trace. Click on the server where you want to turn on tracing. Click Diagnostic Trace. Depending on the type of issue you're having, you can enable the trace from server startup in the configuration tab or during runtime in the runtime tab. I will first walk you through setting up the trace in the configuration tab. This will require a server restart for the trace to be captured. Change the maximum file size to at least 100 megabyte. Change the maximum number of historical files to at least 10. Click Apply. Click Save. Choose the same server again. Click Diagnostic Trace. Change Log Detail Levels. Enter one of the trace strings below. If you are connecting to a database, use the first trace string. If you are connecting to a messaging system, use the second trace string. If you are connecting to an enterprise information system, use the third trace string. Click Apply. Click Save. To verify that the trace string is set, you can click on Change Log Detail Levels. You can see that the trace string is set. Click OK. Click Save. Now you must restart the server for the trace collection to begin. If it is not possible to restart the server, you may need to enable the trace dynamically. To do this, click Runtime. Change the maximum file size to at least 100 megabyte. Change the maximum number of historical files to at least 10. If necessary, change the file name setting as before. Click Apply, then OK. Click Diagnostic Trace. Click the Runtime tab. Click Change Log Detail Levels. Set the necessary trace string. Click Apply. Click OK. You can verify that the trace string is set correctly by clicking Change Log Detail Levels. The trace currently being generated is using this trace string. Click OK. You are now done setting up the trace. Click OK. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.